Local 22 is your local election headquarters. Vermont's primary election just a few days away now. Tonight, we continue our look at each of the candidates running for governor. Tonight, Local 22's Spencer Conlon speaks with the former Vermont Electric Cooperative CEO who looks to take her leadership skills all the way to the governor's office. As an electrical engineer and executive, Christine Hallquist has worked towards bringing power to northern Vermont for 20 years. When I look at the governor and how he's been leading Vermont, this isn't the Vermont I know and love. Um, the Vermont I know and love is, is a Vermont where we all pull together despite our differences. Now Hallquist looks to empower the governor's office. I don't want to see Vermont head the way our national politics is headed. A broken education funding structure, livable wages, and health care access are issues Hulquist wants to tackle with what she calls a bold plan. Getting every home and business connected with fiber optic cable so it can participate in the 21st century economy, improve Medicare for all, accelerate the work we're doing on climate change, and underlying all that is ensuring we, have, we continue to have a quality public education. If elected, Hulquist would be making history, becoming the country's first openly transgender governor. 95% of Vermonters talk about jobs, the future of Vermont, the future for their children, and where can I shop? I haven't experienced at all any transphobia or any of those issues. I just have experienced continually high quality relationships with the people I've been talking to. Hulquist believes her time spent at the helm of Vermont Electric Co-op will translate well in Montpelier. You know, a leader doesn't do the work. A leader pulls people together with a vision. Collaborative leadership, bringing people together, getting people excited about the future. Spencer Conlon, a local 22 News, Burlington. Hulquist faces a crowded field of Democrats, including James Ellers of Lake Champlain International, Brenda Siegel, who you saw earlier, a single mom from Newfane, 14-year-old Ethan Sonneborn, and John Rogers, a state senator from the Northeast Kingdom who's embracing a write-in campaign. Early voting is available. To find your polling place, head on over to our website, mychamplainvalley.com.